Next on Comcast Newsmakers, a conversation with Insurance Commissioner Mike Kreidler about Obamacare and the state health exchange. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. Today we are in Olympia at the beautiful Governor's Mansion. And in joining me right now is Insurance Commissioner Mike Kreidler. So great to see you. Thank you, Sabrina. Thanks again for coming on the program and for being here with us sure. at the uh, Governor's Mansion today. So we are about eight months or so into the health exchange. Uh, tell us how it's been going. I know parts of Obamacare have been slowly put into place, but 2014 sort of marked when people went out and getting their own health insurance and looking at exchanges. Well, the exchange really is a marketplace where you can go in, you can make a determination of if you're going to be eligible for a subsidy, or if you're not, you can go in and treat it just like a marketplace, or, or maybe eligible for the Medicaid program, which we expanded here in the state of Washington. And there's a very vibrant market outside of the exchange, but they still have to meet the same standards as inside the exchange. It just depends on what people are looking for. And we just went through a very active uh, open enrollment period. We've got uh, 10 companies, which is two more than we had before, inside the exchange. We're working right now for the approval of the plans that will be outside the exchange, but a very active market, both in the individual and in the small group market, both inside and outside the exchange. So when you talk about these inside and outside the exchange, why, why having uh, all these different plans? Why is, why is that good for Washingtonians? Because uh, plans, uh, each plan will have a little bit of a variation as to which doctors and which hospitals are included in the plan as uh, network providers. And you want to make sure that they're in network rather than outer network. Outer network can be proved very expensive for, to you. So you want to make sure your doctor, your hospital that you rely on is in the network. You also want to take a look at the drug formulary for it that, that's included with that plan. And they vary from one, one uh, plan to another. We want to make sure if you have particular pharmaceutical needs that you're, you have coverage that's going to meet your needs. So you really should be taking a look at the plan, making sure it suits you, or if you're part of a family, make sure it's, it's suiting your whole family. It's not just a matter of comparing the cost, but actually reading the fine print and seeing what's what's under each plan. Yeah, absolutely. You know, once with health care reform, now you've, you have basic requirements right now of what you have for coverage, the 10 essential health benefits. You have limitations on out-of-pocket expenses. But you see the plans now moving more toward being competitive on how they cover pharmaceuticals, which ones they have to meet certain minimum standards, uh, but at the same time, the, the same applies for doctors and hospitals. Is my doctor a part of this plan? I want to make sure that's all part of the plan when you go in and you can help hold down your costs. You may find that you get a cheaper rate someplace else. Eight months into 2014, what, what are you seeing in terms of numbers, those people who are actually going out and purchasing health insurance and are no longer without health insurance? Well, we were looking at the state of Washington before 2014. Approximately 15% of the people did not have health insurance in the state of Washington. After the start of uh, with the open enrollment period of the last year, uh, and now we're coming up on the second one now for 2015, what we saw in 14 was we were at 15% uninsured. We've seen a dramatic drop in that to 8.65 now who are uninsured. That's a huge change. It's almost cut in oh, half. Yeah, the first year, and we've seen this kind of change. I'm optimistic going through this second open enrollment period, we'll see even more people now feeling a lot more comfortable about getting signed up, making sure they have the protections for themselves and their families. And you said open enrollment is just about to come up again for 2015. Remind us of those dates. It's going to be November 15th to February 15th. Okay, so you really need to stick within those That's right. uh, that time period to make sure you're going out and shopping. And you can compare uh, plans right now, correct, even online, but when you actually go to enroll, it's during that period. That's right. All That's right. right. Commissioner, always great to talk to you. Thanks Likewise. so much. Thank you. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. We have headline news coming up at the top and bottom of the hour. Hope you can stay with us.